It's Board Badger up on your screen with another video for Taltanic. Let's do it. Hello, Chop. Have you come for a spot to see? Okay, I can't do that. You gotta cut that out. Do you ever wonder what you don't know about the royal family? It's pretty amazing to think that there may be things that you or I, we don't know about when their lives are so, so public. But there are little known things, things many aren't clear on, and things that people probably just don't care to know. But we're here to give them to you, okay? Here's our list of 19 things you didn't know about the royal family. Number 19. Promoted by passing. When Queen Elizabeth II was 25, she was on a royal tour in Kenya when she learned that her father had passed, thus elevating her to role of the queen. What a way to suddenly take power and responsibility for an entire nation. She's much older now, as she's been queen for nearly 65 years. But that doesn't stop her from keeping in close contact with her grandchildren in a way you'd never expect. By texting. Can you imagine the Queen of England straight chillin' texting away on her iPhone? Or would she pick a droid? Huh, who knows? And annoying her grandkids. What a cool old lady. Number 18. Birthdays. Did you know that the Queen has two birthdays? That's right, she has her real April 21st birthday, and then she also has an official birthday. What the heck does that mean, you might ask? Well, her official birthday varies by Commonwealth country. Some could have one day, others another, but they typically fall in May or June. And it's been like that since 1748 when Britain decided to merge the annual Trooping the Color Ceremony with their monarch's birthday celebration. I want two birthdays. Number 17, Misspoken. Did you know that the queen's nickname is Lilibet? She was coined that after she was unable to pronounce her own name and her family decided to roll with how she said it. Her husband, Prince Philip, is reported to call her Cabbage. This came to the attention of the world after the movie The Queen came out in 2006, as Philip calls her that in a scene, and the screenwriter for the film, Peter Morgan, said he was told on good authority that that is, in fact, what Prince Philip calls his wife. Number 16. How cute. Did you know that way back when when Prince William was 13 years old, he had a crush on supermodel Cindy Crawford? That's right. The new teenager had a thing for her and his mother, Diana, invited her to join them for tea. Crawford remembers the experience, saying that when she arrived and began talking with Diana, she said, it was like talking to a girlfriend. William recalls being embarrassed as his mother not only invited Crawford, but Christy Turlington and Naomi Campbell as well all models that William had posters of up on his walls. I went bright red and didn't quite know what to say and sort of fumbled, said the prince. Number 15, Will, Will, Will. Back in 2002, Prince William was just a young buck looking for his mate. He found potential in the one, the only, Britney Spears, or so Spears says. She revealed on the Frank Skinner show that she and William had exchanged emails for a time and had arranged to meet each other, but William backed out, or didn't show, or who knows what. Either way, it seems as though he and the Princess of Pop just weren't meant to be. <laughs> Can you imagine the two? Number 14, a royal proposal. Kate Middleton and Prince William were in the middle of a 10-day safari in Kenya when Will decided to pop the question. He had been carrying a rucksack containing his mother's 18-carat ring with him the whole trip and was just waiting for the opportune time to drop to his knee. He did, obviously, and the rest is history. Number 13, Royal Replies. I bet you didn't know that William and Kate were bombarded with more than 60,000 letters from fans for the royal wedding. I also bet that you didn't know that William made sure that all of the letters with return addresses on them received a reply. Can you imagine if he had to write them all himself, though? Number 12. Pretty smart princess. The UK's first ever degree-holding royal bride award goes to Kate Middleton. She's the only one as she holds a degree in art history after attending and graduating from the University of St. Andrews. It is at the same school that Prince William and Kate met, and it is rumored that Will fell for her during a university fashion show where she modeled a sexy see-through dress. Number 11. Hey, did you know that Kate was 29 when she married Prince William? Did you know that she was the oldest royal bride ever at such a young age? We're sure in the future there shall be older, though. Kids are waiting longer and longer these days. Their so-called advanced age doesn't stop them from flirting and loving on each other like teenagers, though. And it's rumored that William calls her babykins and she calls him Big Willie. We hope that's just a rumor. 
we don't really want to know how he got that nickname. Yeah. Number 10. Like mother, like Harry. Before Prince Harry went on to university, he decided that he wanted to take a gap year, a year to do something special, and so he did. He made his way over to Africa, where he worked with AIDS orphans in the country and made The Forgotten Kingdom, a documentary about the plight of the AIDS-stricken nation and its people. He said his inspiration for doing so was that he wanted to carry on the things that his mother didn't quite get to finish. What a sweet son. Number 9. Military Man Did you know that Prince Harry fought on the front lines in Afghanistan back in 2008? This came after he, following in his older brother's footsteps, graduated from the Royal Military Academy as second lieutenant. Once the media found out that he was in the war-torn country, word got out and he had to be returned home. Can you imagine what would have happened had terrorists captured a Prince of England? However, he was cleared to return to the country in 2012, where he served a four-month tour of duty as an Apache attack helicopter pilot with the British Army. Number 8. Popular Prince This is just a little tidbit, but Prince Harry has been voted the most popular of the royals on multiple occasions, even though William and Kate do snag a lot of headlines. Hopefully, sibling rivalry isn't a thing between these two, because being voted the most popular on a global scale would probably lead to a quarrel the Queen wouldn't quite be able to quell. Number 7. Long Lines Do you know the order in which the throne is set to be passed down throughout the royal family? We didn't either, but we found out, so let us share. Good old Prince Charles is next in line and can either accept the crown once his mother passes or gives it up herself, or pass it on. Next in line is Prince William. Next comes Will and Kate's son, Prince George. Then their daughter, Prince Charlotte. Then Prince Harry. Luckily, Prince Harry has expressed the fact that he has no interest in becoming king. Otherwise, he might be a little angry at his brother and sister-in-law for continuing to pop out the little princes and princesses. <laughs> Number 6. So scandalous. Prince Harry had been in the limelight a few times for things that his family is probably just a little less than proud of. He admitted to smoking the ganja back in 2002 and made headlines, which perhaps didn't make his grandmother happy. But come on, who hasn't tried this stuff? He again made the news when he attended a costume party with quite an unsavory historical military armband on. Which was on the armband, I can't say, but I think you can guess. He was 20 at the time and later apologized, but it took some time for his reputation to bounce back. Come on, Harry. He's slipping, dude. Number 5. Jeez, Ginger. Alright, so Prince Harry visited Las Vegas back in 2012, and we all know what Vegas can do to a person, don't we? Well, Mr. Princey Prince decided that it would be a good idea to play a game of strip billiards, and supposedly, unknowingly got his picture taken while doing so. The photos showed, well, you know, and caused quite the stir. Harry stated that the incident was an invasion of his privacy, but later took responsibility for it, saying, I let myself down, I let my family down. I let other people down, or whatever his accent would be like. Come on, Harry. Ain't you supposed to be a bloody prince? Can't just go getting any picture of your willy taken now, can ya? Bollocks. <laughs> Number four, Cheeks of Catherine. Well, there was apparently a royal misstep in May of 2014 when the Duchess of Cambridge herself had her butt cheeks posted for all to see by a German magazine. The queen avoids this type of situation by having weight sewn into the hemlines of her clothing. And I think that maybe, just maybe, Catherine should have taken a page out of her grandmother-in-law's book. Or maybe she wanted to make a statement? Ah, who knows. Okay, probably not. Number 3. Michael Fagan. Michael Fagan. Michael Fagan. Michael F <laughs> A severe breach of security happened at Buckingham Palace back in 1982, and it ended up with a strange, nonchalant man standing in the Queen's bedroom as she slept. The crazy thing that it wasn't the first time that the man had broken into Buckingham, at least according to him. A month before his famous July 9th break-in, he says that he entered the residence by climbing on a drain pipe on the side of the building and then slipped in through a window on the roof. He says he walked around, ate cheese and crackers, drank some wine, got tired, and left. The second time, he entered the same way and ended up finding himself into Queen Elizabeth's bedroom around 7.15 a.m. The Queen fled. He stayed and even asked the maid for cigarettes, which she provided to him. He remained in the room until policemen arrived and arrested him. A well, good thing he didn't go in there with any evil intentions. Sheesh! Number 2. Greet the Queen. How many of you would know what in the world you're doing if you ever came across the Queen and had to address her? I'm guessing not many. 
Well, you're in luck because I'm here to let you know. When first meeting her, you should call her Your Majesty. And after that, feel free to simply call her Ma'am. Not too hard, right? Number 1. Greeting Other Royals Alright, so we just went over the Queen, but what would you do if you ran into, say, Prince William or Prince Harry? Don't panic, I got you. When you first meet these folks, the ones with the HRH, his slash her royal highness, in front of their names, you should call or refer to them as your royal highness. After that, it's pretty much free game. They like to be called dude, bro, my man, brosif, broccoli, brosidon, bromine, broly. <laughs> nah, that was a joke, okay? Just kidding. Just call him sir or ma'am and you will be just fine. Show some love and support for the channel by subscribing down below and subscribing to my channel too. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.